So you, I, I think I heard you say that you um, accept the uh, the theory of the multiverse. Um, it, yeah. Is 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 that kind of accepting it for the sake of argument, or just because it seems that that's what the consensus is, or or is there evidence that you would point to to say, yeah, we it, it's pretty likely that there's a multiverse. So, so what I would say is this, that um, when I first started investigating the multiverse, uh, I, I was actually kind of, my, my thought was, okay, the way to deal with this is to show that it doesn't exist, because that's not the way reality is. Um, and then I realized, okay, one, there's different ways you can think about a multiverse. So this is a bigger topic than I thought. Um, and then what I recognized is that uh, the when you talk about a multiverse, you can have, uh, I love Max Tegmark has a great uh, delineation. You know, you can have a level one multiverse, which is just stuff beyond the observable universe, more of the same, if you will. There's these other bubbles. That's a level two multiverse. You get a multiverse from quantum mechanics, which is kind of the uh, back to the future type multiverse. And then you've got, uh, you know, th there's a kind of catch-all class where you've got different mathematical descriptions. And so uh, really most of the discussions are in the level one, two, and three. And the level three is hard because there you're talking about what interpretation of quantum mechanics is correct. And I don't think uh, we have any way of knowing which interpretation of quantum mechanics is correct. So most of my discussion centers around this level one, level two. Now, if inflation happened, we live in a level one multiverse. The very, the very mechanism of, or, or the very, the, the, the process that inflation entails means that what, what exists is far larger than what we can see. That's how inflation solves the horizon problem. That's how inflation solves the oldness flatness problem. And that's the way inflation solves the magnetic monopole problem is that there's just more stuff out there than we can possibly see. And I find that a very non-controversial thing. So if inflation happened, and I, I think there's strong evidence pointing towards that, then we live in a level one multiverse. Now we have, we can we can look at our standard model of particle physics and 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 our and how we we deal with our 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 our, our fundamental forces and ask the question: Where could we get a mechanism that would drive inflation? And there are kind of a few places where you can do that. And what's interesting is that almost every way to get inflation to happen produces, or all of those mechanisms produce a level two multiverse. And so the way I will say it is this, if inflation happened, we live in a level one multiverse. If our mechanisms for understanding inflation are correct, we live in a level two multiverse. I think inflation happened, we live in a level one multiverse. I think it's very reasonable that the mechanisms that drive inflation are probably right, or one of those is probably right. So I think we probably live in a level two multiverse. But I'm open to have that last, the last one find out that I'm just wrong there. But I, I think that's likely where we're going to end.